Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of DIY Project by DIY Filmers. Uh, today we're going to be making some light stands for our work lights. Um, this is going to run you about 20 bucks. Um, so you're going to want to get a 10 foot length of PVC and you're going to want to cut it into two 2 foot lengths. One 1 foot length. Six 6 inch lengths. And then you're going to want to cut some of your excess into one 2 inch length. You're also going to want to pick up um, three T's, four couplers, a PVC male adapter to end cap, and also to make it a little bit look more professional looking, you can grab some black matte spray paint. This is about two bucks at Walmart. And uh, let's get started. All right, to start off the build, you're gonna take your one T and then um, on the two sides, you're gonna put your two six inch lengths into that. Then at the top of the T, you're gonna insert your one, in, your one or two inch length and then a coupler on top of that. Um, another T on each side of the um, legs of the, of the stand. Um, and then into those T's, you're gonna insert another two um, six inch lengths and just make sure it um, is solid and flat to the ground. All right, that's the base of your uh, light stands. It's pretty simple. And to weigh them down, you can just put uh, sandbags on them, but they're not needed. Um, just insert one of your two foot lengths in the coupler and you're good. All right, now for the um, connecting to your work light, you're gonna drill a hole in the top of your end cap. It's a lot easier to start with a smaller drill bit and work your way up. Okay, now for ours, we needed to drill a hole into our work light. So you're also gonna to wanna to start with a small bit and work your way up. Um, this is gonna take some time if you do need to do this, but more, most work lights already have a hole in the bottom. When you're doing this, uh, make sure you don't puncture um, through your work light. Okay, now you're gonna connect uh, the end cap to your work light. So grab a bolt, throw it in there, and then throw it through the uh, end cap, through the work light, and put a nut on the top. All right, to secure this down, just put a screwdriver in there to hold it, or uh, just twist it with a screwdriver and hold, it with, hold your nut with a pair of pliers and tighten it up. And you're good. All right guys, now you have your DIY light stands for your work lights. Um, so now that you have your hole drilled underneath your work light, which you might not have to do, um, it's easier if you don't. So look at your look at your lights before you buy them. We didn't, um, so we had to do this. Um, so you got your light and then your female adapter to your male adapter. Um, I would just leave that actually on the light and then you can build up. So right now this is at five feet, I think. No, this is actually at four feet right now. Um, we have some scrap out back, so from from the 10 foot piece that you cut, so we have some scrap. So the next episode, we're going to show you how to make a soft box from your scrap. Hopefully, we have enough. Um, so that's the next episode. Um, these stands are awesome because they're so versatile, and you can go all the way down to the ground, or you can go all the way up to about seven feet. Um, so I really like these stands; they're cheap, and you can break them down, put them in bags, and take them wherever your shoot takes you and they produce a lot of light. Um, so please subscribe, um, check out my other video if you have a microphone and create a dead cat for it. And also new shows that will be coming out on my channel. Uh, we'll have After Effects tutorials, product reviews, um, and that should be, that, those will be out within the next week or two, those shows with uh, the first episode on those. So please subscribe for some great content. Uh, thanks and see you later.